me tell you, this one is a super, super special one. So special. It is. <laughs> After all this time of boosting this episode, we're finally here. <laughs> oh, that's right. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yes, that's what a little excitement would do to you, allow you to jump the gun. But this is the episode we've been waiting to catch up with y'all on. So you better stay tuned in for the whole thing. <laughs> the yes, whole thing. Because we have a lot to talk about, but I guess you can kind of just like insert a little drum roll here because we're just going to kick off and tell you guys exciting news that this week we, me and Amanda and Mindset Talks podcast have officially been in business for two years now. So two. <laughs> exciting we were able to stick it out and I actually can't really believe that we're sitting here saying that we've been doing this for two years because it doesn't feel like it yeah so um reflecting on two years it's just like it went by really fast but it went by slow um like it makes absolutely no sense (laughs) very oxymoronic but being in it it's like that's the best way I can put it to someone who hasn't done it. Mm-hmm. So it's just like two years. I remember starting and just being like, well, right. Starting with a totally different kind of podcast. And okay. even from year one to year two, we're still not the same <laughs> as the original idea. What we dropped our podcast as to where we are today. We are totally different. We went right. from a whole management mindset (laughs) type of you know ordeal and then we're moving on to talking about grieving and the loss of our parents and just being able to relate with others who have lost someone close and near and dear to them or even like a pet who's near and dear like just being able to relate to those who are grieving or or have grieved in the past Mm -hmm. and now today we're just (laughs) <laughs> kind of on lifestyle and kind girl of talk. current events and it's yeah it's like girl talk it's just catch up with your girlfriend have a good time and just be able to relate just as friends talking to each other and listening to us talk you know a lot of people can relate to that and it doesn't have to be just girlfriends more girlfriends are going to understand us of course you know but it's just completely different turn completely different turn it is what got us here me I know what got us here but like what got us here tell the people what what brought us to where we are today in year two whereas you know six months ago we were somewhere else oh I don't know what answer are you looking for here (laughs) like the answer is we literally have been so taken down by the grieving I think is what it came down to is that we didn't mind and we still don't mind being able to relate and to be able to help others through grieving. Yeah. But when it comes to having to talk about it every week, all the time. Yeah. It gets exhausting. It's very exhausting. And not that you don't want to remember the people or person that you lost, mm-hmm. but it's just having to be reminded of it on a weekly basis. And then hearing yourself play back and hearing episodes and having to hear it all over again, it yeah. becomes overwhelming. It's just a lot. And does. it doesn't fully allow you to move on into the present if that's what you're really looking to do. Yeah. Um, you know, having to harp on the past, but the past isn't always a bad thing to touch on but it's just being able to have a better balance and having a podcast talking about that Mm -hmm. you know for over a year and a half Mm -hmm. becomes a lot you know we were drop we're dropping episodes on a weekly basis that's a lot yeah (laughs) you know so and especially when we've had you know those technical difficulties and we have to re-record the same episode and same content (laughs) More than I'm once. glad you're talking about so both of us. We're sitting here <clears throat> doing this, you know, not just <laughs> once. We're having to do it like multiple times. And, you know, granted, that wasn't like the majority of the episodes. but I mean, Right, like, right. It, uh... But it happened here and there for sure. Yeah. Like it definitely was a thing. So, yeah, that definitely adds to it, too. But it's it feels good to be where we are today in year two, mm. just because those of you who have been with us from day one you see the evolvement that we're going through like we're literally evolving as we get deeper and deeper into this and that's something I did not expect at all 
No, not from when I came to you. Hey, Amanda, would you ever be interested in doing a podcast with me? I think right. it'd be great. You know, we're both managers. Like, we can sit here and talk about it. And <laughs> here we are. No, we never even touched that damn topic. <laughs> right. And listen, I still, I still got that ready to go. Whenever you're ready to drop that, we can drop that episode. I'm still ready to talk to the people. That was more of a time where I was like, I can't stand my job. Yeah. I don't want to talk about, you know, because I was literally right, right. working 10 hours a day and it was just like, damn, bitch, like you want me to come home and still talk about it? That's similar to the whole grieving thing. Like, damn, yeah. they already died. You still want me to keep talking about them? <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. it ended up being kind of the same thing. So it's funny. I wonder if we did start with that management series, would we still be on that today? Probably not, because I feel like with grief, I mean, even though at times like we were struggling with like finding things to like talk about. I feel mm -hmm. like management might have been harder to like always talk about and stuff like that. I mean, unless we had, you know, examples from what happened during the day, but then like when you change right. positions and stuff, that would have changed things. So, yeah, you know, it really is interesting to kind of just see like the our life course, like how this is the transformation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. But I was actually just thinking it actually may not have been a terrible thing, though, because we could have started off as both of us from a manager's perspective. And then I could have changed my tone into a, um, you know, not being a manager anymore and giving my perspective of how I see my managers. Right. Yeah. So it could have still taken a different tone, but still. Yeah kind of be a this is what should be done instead because now I'm seeing someone else to do it but I think if I got too deep into that I would have had way too many way too many stories I probably would have had too many close calls on calling people out that I probably shouldn't and like right. violations of something so exactly oh so, yeah that's probably better <laughs> that we stayed far away from that right right we just talk our little bit of shit here and there in between but mm -hmm. just you know on a weekly basis that probably would have been overwhelming too to be honest so. yeah oh, I definitely think so <laughs> do you think it has become any easier being in front of the camera now oh. that we're this deep into it uh, well I mean for me I mean maybe that's a, a better question for you to kind of reflect on because I guess I never really had an issue being in front of the camera because like before okay. we actually did this like I did things for the previous like MLM company that I was working for and mm -hmm. like a lot of like videos and like reels on like social media and stuff. So mm -hmm. for me, I, I feel like I was always pretty like comfortable with being in like a spotlight in a camera. So I don't okay, think spotlight. that changed things for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, That's a good point. Yeah. Um, asking myself, I would honestly say into my adulthood, I so let me go back in my college days like my younger years mm -hmm. public speaking and speaking in front of people I literally almost passed out in a Spanish class from that just to give a presentation in front of my class people yeah see me I get the same like we talked about in that one episode where you kind of get like your heart rate starts speeding up when it, you know it's your turn to talk or someone's going to call on you and you got to speak in front of the group and it's like oh shit I'm sweating yeah I don't my heart rate this. <laughs> see this I don't get that but I typically would get that in front of people like in front of a group of people but in my last position as an assistant manager I've become like so comfortable with talking in front of a group of people but you know me like I like to throw in a little jokey joke here and there so if it's that kind of environment where I can do that yeah. then I'm fucking cake I'm good to go like I'm I'm gonna tear up that I'm gonna tear up the circle and y'all gonna wish I had more to say mm -hmm. that is how I operate in that environment so then when it came to us doing the podcast Yes, I'm like, all right, like it shouldn't be that bad. You know, it's just I'm talking to my girlfriend here. I'm not talking to a whole bunch of people that I need to direct on their job. So it shouldn't be, you know, it's very uncensored here. So I should yeah. be fine. But the only thing I'll say is I, and to this day, I still can't stand listening and watching myself talk, like oh, listening oh. to myself and watching myself talk. I feel like for me, I'm like, oh gosh, I can't stand it. Yeah. And you know me, I'm always like, oh, my eyebrows are like, something isn't right. So I just can't look. Yeah. So that for me is a little bit better. Like, obviously you'll see, I'll come on here about my eyebrows and the shit. So it's not that serious, but I, I've never really been too nervous to be in front of the camera when it comes to podcasting and talking with you but I think it's because I'm comfortable mm -hmm. yeah well, that's true so well that's good then so we've you know 
gotten a little better with that. So that's <laughs> that's always a problem. Right, right. We made, we made a little progress here. <laughs> Definitely. Um, but I think one of the most interesting things is just how much we have learned and like come from like the beginning because I remember like when we first started it was like how do we do this like what does the setup look like I remember we spent that, yes. like, an hour trying to figure out like how to hook up the computer so we can like hear each other yes talk. And oh my like, gosh how does this even work and it's just kind of like the platforms to use and getting mm-hmm. it on you know Spotify and all that kind of stuff and right you know and it's one of those things where it's like you can sit here and you can research and you can read things and figure it out. But like until you truly get started, like you have no idea because you really don't. We had no clue going into this. No. And I still feel like there's something out there a little bit better yeah. for what we're looking for that we still haven't found yet. Mm-hmm. It's just so much trial and error. But it's like you kind of got to like double up on episodes just in case you try something new and it fucks your whole thing up, <laughs> you know. So it's like, um, all right, so you have to put in a little extra work to go ahead and try a different system, but there are, and it's annoying. It's like paint colors. There's so many different options out there to choose from. And it's just like, okay, this one has video capabilities, but it doesn't have editing capabilities, or this has audio and, you know, like, and it's just like, like, God damn. Not Androids. (laughs) The, yo, the biggest issue, y'all, we have come across having to go through different systems because I have an iPhone and this chick over here got a dumbass Android. Hey. So our stuff is not, I'm talking, excuse me, I didn't interrupt you. So our stuff (laughs) is not compatible for every application or system we try to use. And that was from the very beginning of time with this. So that has been one of the most frustrating things. Like, our microphones need to be able to be compatible with whatever devices we're using because not only do we use our phones but we have tablets and laptops so it's like still like oh you know like gotta have your adapters like there's just so many little pieces to it that you just have to make sure add up Mm -hmm. and it was just like and still is like damn because I'm really over here girl I didn't even tell you but I'm gonna tell you now Uh I busted out my old laptop. It's a Windows laptop, okay? <laughs> so I busted out my old laptop and I'm like, let me, I, and I haven't used this in like a couple of years now at this point. Like it's been a good minute. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and see what applications I can get on here since I know we would be operating with the same at that point. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, let me go ahead and I'm about to start putting in some more research to see if anything that, you know, we can kind of double back on and see if that would be a good fit now as long as my laptop cooperates. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is like a recent thought you've been having. Oh, my laptop's right here. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, okay, yeah. Well, okay, we can talk about all that kind of stuff. But yes, we are always trying to innovate because we still don't know everything. Um, Mm-mm. and no. but I definitely think there's a lot easier things we can be doing because the mm-hmm. fact that like we're doing like video separate from audio and having to put them together and like yeah it's very complicated yeah so it does it does we definitely have more work for ourselves than we need to and especially nowadays there's the whole ai factor which is huge and pretty damn awesome if you ask me because i definitely use that for some of our stuff is the ai and for those of you who maybe you know starting your own or doing any type of business i'm sure ai is applicable in like any area of anyone's life i literally use ai for cover letters and boosting my resumes to apply to specific jobs like it's to that so you know that for me on the parts that i deal with for our podcast mm-hmm. that for me has been critical because it helps to kill time because y'all this is time consuming that we do like uh, a huge piece of the time consuming is is what Cassie does she edits our videos and makes sure you know the audio and such is lined up like she said everything that we do isn't on the same platform so you literally have to take different pieces and put them all together like a puzzle so that's a really big part of what she does and I appreciate her every time (laughs) she does this because it's like god damn bitch like you know you also have a little bit more flexibility than I do to be able to do that. So still super appreciated, Mm -hmm. but just having that AI feature for myself, because right. I'm now podcasting as a mother versus before I didn't have as much responsibility as I do now. Mm -hmm. My time isn't as tied up before 
compared to now. So now like AI has been a bit of a crutch for me. So that way it can help me pull some things together and like, okay, cool. Yeah. Got that done. All right. Check, check, check. So no, it's pretty dope. Yeah. Well, that's why you have a co-host and you don't podcast by yourself because you guys can use different skills because you're seriously way more knowledgeable about AI than me. I don't know which one where to start. <laughs> So. <laughs> yeah as i'm over here texting you all right so how i get this video like this and <laughs> yeah no it's it's really it's really really awesome to have a co-host because we not only build our own skill sets but each other's so it's just it's so much teamwork and it's just a piece of mastering the skill right like you're definitely not going to conquer it all within the first year or two which we see <laughs> you know definitely not conquering it all but like you said the amount of knowledge we've gained from the very beginning to today mm -hmm. it's actually pretty crazy because i never really stopped to think back and like oh damn like I barely knew how to operate my microphone well and make sure I have it on the right setting. Hell, even have the right kind of microphone. Yeah. Well, even if you see like the videos we did, like we used to be like this tiny and it was like, mm -hmm. was so yes, grainy. And we ain't going to talk about how that audio sounded because that was also like, which is still on our intro today that we need to change, but we ain't going to talk about that. <laughs> no, because what we are going to talk about <laughs> It's <laughs> all of the new – well, actually, do we want to go there? Maybe we'll save that for last. What we'll talk about next, I guess, is mm -hmm. just kind of, like, reflecting on all of the opportunities that have presented themselves since we've started, um, which Ooh, is pretty cool yes. because this kind of just really started out as, like, a hobby and just, right. like, you know, seeing, like, what can happen, like, where this would go and stuff. But I don't think that me and Amanda ever visualized that we would actually have any kind of deals or – that we would be working with social media apps or, you know, radios or anything right. like that. The so level of interest. Of, <laughs> it's kind of wild to think that, like, you know, just the opportunities that we've been provided so far is pretty crazy. Oh, my gosh. I know. The first one being, you know, just me talking to my coworker, right? We have Rhode Island Broadcasting. And this is just talking to a coworker, a coworker I've worked with for many years yeah. and never really realized. Like, I knew they had a sports show, but didn't really inquire about it. Mm -hmm. And then not until really talking to them about like, yo, I'm thinking about starting this podcasting. I remember you have your show. And, you know, Rhode Island Broadcasting is the first broadcasting station that we've that we are still yeah. working with today. And right. Like big shout outs to them. Like we appreciate the support. Like they've helped to get us out there, mm -hmm. um, you know, even got us recognized by different podcasts where um, mm -hmm. we were interesting enough to be reviewed about. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was like, ah, uh -huh. you want did a review on like. You did a review on us. Right. That, that was pretty cool, us? too. <laughs> right. Like, I didn't know how to feel about that. I remember it was like, was someone doing a review? Yeah. And it was wild to, like, hear them, like, talk about you and stuff. So that was. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. It was super different, like, super different. And it wasn't like it was like, oh, like, someone we know talking about us. This was a complete stranger. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that was Miss Lindsay May. Appreciate her for that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And and then, yeah, we, was she before the app? No, no, I think no. She was after the app. Are you sure? Well, we're not going to jog your memory, but <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway. I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> well, and then at some point in time, whether it's before or after. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here all night trying to determine that. Yeah. We were then also approached <laughs> by a social media app. You guys have heard us talk about a number of times called Braid. Um, yes. And that was also pretty cool just to see that, like, okay, now we've had, like, two things that have somehow found us in our podcast. Like, we're mm -hmm. doing something right to where we're being located, right? Um, right. And, you know, that was definitely crazy. a huge opportunity. And that was pretty cool. Um, you know, still is. Yeah. To be able to Starting off with them, you know, as a brand new app on top of that, mm -hmm. you know, like it was something newly dropped. Yeah. And to be able to be a part of a, you know, different community, right? Because these are people that are just from all over. They're not from the broadcasting station that we're with or they're not from a friend of a friend. Right. It's just a whole Brand nother room. atmosphere. Yeah. I remember being mm -hmm. like, is this like real? Is this legit? And then we're like, right. I don't know. And we just hop on some video call with this guy. And <laughs> right. Right. And it turned out to oh be my gosh. a great thing and a great opportunity. So 
the first call, right? Mm -hmm. Because that wasn't our last call either. Sure wasn't. <laughs> it sure wasn't because now we have WDJY 99.1 FM with hype. Hype. I'm going to say it wrong because I always say it wrong. Hype Global. Hype is it Hype Media Global Media? Global. <laughs> See, look, dyslexia. Don't ask me to say shit. I had typed the customer's phone number in the system wrong the other day because I had it backwards. So, yeah, wrong. don't count on me. Count on Cassie for that part. But yes. So, again, approached by another um, broadcasting opportunity. Mm -hmm. And this time it's with a radio station. So we're also different different kinds of avenues right where Rhode Island broadcasting they're more of uh, you know reposting us on their YouTube on their Facebook mm -hmm. um I want to say they have like a public access channel but I cannot 100% recall so apologies if I'm absolutely wrong on that but you know they're more of our social media boosting and then you have braid where we're able to connect with more podcasters and just get ourselves out there in that area and that's you know another app yeah. And then now we have Rhode Island, excuse me, ugh, WDJY 99.1, which is an FM station. Mm -hmm. And, and we're also now you on can. Their website too. And we're also on their website. So we're on their website. You can hear us on the radio. So it's like your girls are really out here in different places. And it's like, oh my gosh, people can hear me all over. Like, Cassie, yeah. Cassie, I know. Anywhere. It's crazy. Aside from being on YouTube, our own channel and Rhode Island Broadcasting Channel, right? Right. Yeah. So it's like these different entities are reaching out to us and they're wanting to share our content because whatever we are producing, <laughs> it seems to be catching on. So I think right. our, you know, ever evolution growing. <laughs> what am I trying to say here? <laughs> All of our evolutionary changes <laughs> are going on the right path is... uh pretty much what it's looking to be so preach <laughs> uh, what you said yes because yeah, lord knows that. i can't repeat that <laughs> you can't even repeat it so yes but y'all know what cassie is saying she's in the I right hope. direction right yes it's just things are going very well for us and <laughs> not that we ever doubted ourselves because i don't think that was ever the case but it's just not foreseeing just not truly foreseeing opportunities that can come our way yeah no because if you would have asked me two years ago if i would be on the radio i would look at you like you were crazy even six months ago so <laughs> right right it's just like the radio okay for one it's like oh people still listen to the radio right and fm we're not even on am so okay <laughs> yeah right right that's the thing yeah because who listens to am nobody mm -hmm. exactly. well, maybe i don't know I don't listen to the radio either way, but yeah, it's just like, oh, sorry. I just had to take a deep breath for a second because it is like overwhelming in a good way. Yeah, You know, it's just like, you know, people recognize success by many different things. People recognize success most of the time today by monetary figures like, oh, you know, or of course, the number of followers, right? Like looking at your social media accounts and looking at your bank accounts. That's how people define success. Yeah. But when you're really looking at things in a full perspective, that doesn't fully define success. Like sure just doesn't. these milestones for us. Yeah, you know, we're we're not we're not big yet. You know, we <laughs> we don't know where we're going. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> you know, we, like, we don't know where we're going, but it's just for where we are today. Yeah. This is huge for us. Mm -hmm. Like, this is huge. It really is. Huge. It's like, how? Girl, I don't know. Because when I just threw the idea at you, it was just kind of like a, hey, right. she actually Let's do this. Say yes to this. <laughs> right. And, it, and it's, it was perfect because it's like, we need to take more opportunities in our lives to say yes right. to things. Why not? You know, exactly. We're here to live. And how are you living if you're really not opening yourself up to new experiences and different opportunities? Mm -hmm. Because if we truly didn't want to keep doing it, we could just be like, all right, y'all. So today's the last episode. Love you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like, but no, like this, this is an experience that's ever changing. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me want to know what else is like, what's coming next? What is next? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I you guess know? we'll have to wait for our three year recap. <laughs> I know that scares me because it's like, oh my gosh, what is that going to bring? Right. This is what two years have brought us thus far. Mm -hmm. 
which I think is pretty cool Shit. in two years. I mean, it's it's a long time, but it's not a long time, you know? Right, right, yeah. But, I mean, it's also, too, as to how engaged we are, too, because, you know, it's not like we have lives where we have a huge amount of free personal time to truly devote to our show. Yeah. Whereas, you know, we, we still have our full-time jobs to work. We have our family lives to maintain mm -hmm. you and your transportation. is just a, a, a nightmare in itself. <laughs> exactly. And then of course, like, you know, I'm a whole mom. So that completely changed, you know, the perspective, but just the fact that, you know, you've moved, your commute has changed and my, my personal life has changed. Like even with the adjustments, we're still able to maintain. And yeah. I find that to be awesome. And you know, it just makes me open to finding more opportunities to be able to give more time back to our show, you know? Yeah. And just a, just a mere example, you always hear about me like, oh, I need to change my job. Like, yeah, I need to change my job mainly for myself, but it'd be cool to truly change it because then it can change things for our show too. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, like I said, evolutionary, we are ever changing over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little chameleons we are. Hmm. Yes. And speaking <laughs> of changes, with two years, um, me and Amanda have felt like we're a little outdated. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like your grandma's old woven couch that uh, is itchy when you sit on that shit gotta go. Yeah, it sure does. Because when we talk about like not knowing what we're doing when we started to, you know, trying to like learn things along the way, well, <laughs> graphics and design. <laughs> have been one of those things so right but y'all gotta remember we're doing this ourselves it's not like we have someone else on our team like there's yeah, no. there's no other person behind the cameras that y'all don't see like <laughs> it's just we don't really have any the two people see. yeah <laughs> oh hell no 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> just us so you guys can be on the lookout for some new pictures and graphics on all of our social media to coincide with our two-year anniversary because yes we got to be out with the old and in with the new over here because it's just yes. not working anymore. <laughs> so. I'm so excited for y'all to see it. Yeah, so excited. me too. It's so exciting. So on all of our social media pages and to include our YouTube videos, layout will be changing as well because those videos have just got to go. Right. So if you're only tuning into us on a podcasting platform or, you know, on the radio, you're going to need to go on to our pages. Yeah. We're just going to need you to go on and click on in there mm -hmm. and use the link, where, everything. Yeah. Check us out. Yeah, exactly. We got we got something for you to see. Sure and that would be us. <laughs> <laughs> that would be us. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm excited though. I I because it's something that we've been wanting to do, but it's just like at the right time. You got to do these things. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's true. Because we've been working on it for a while, but then like you know what, we might as well just wait for the two year because it was close enough, even though it's kind of mm -hmm. far. But you know whatever. It's a celebration. We're here now. That's all that matters. Exactly. Ooh, girl, I'm so excited. Yes. Yes. I am too to see oh. where the next year will bring us because we've been through a lot. Um, mm -hmm. There's been a lot of changes, like you mentioned, and yeah, it's just interesting to see like what's going to happen in the future. Like, what does the right. future have in store? Because right, it's been a while. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump a little bit, and I'm gonna ask. So we're at year two. Between, say, by year five, mm -hmm. we're just gonna. <laughs> go that far right okay. by year five um what would be something that you would like for our podcast to have or is there a place you would like for our podcast to be in um I would just say overall like getting our like social media so like Instagram Facebook and YouTube more um popular when it comes to mm -hmm. viewership and like followers and, and likes and interactions and stuff like that because we have yeah. we have it now but on a very small scale we're not viral by any means so right right um, do you want to be viral yes I do I just I have my hesitations <laughs> just for reasons but um but no I do overall I think it'd be kind of cool now do you want to be viral for like a good minute like um well no i want like, like the folding chairs or do you want to be oh. viral for like 
<laughs> Alabama with the folding chairs. Oh. Like viral for a minute viral or like consistently viral. Oh shit, just hit the mic. I'm sorry. Well, I mean consistently. Why you know? If we're gonna Oh no, I'm just asking. Well, because you know, you can be viral off of a moment or you can be viral off of many moments. So that's just why I asked. Gotcha. I mean, listen, mm-hmm. the minute we have one viral moment, we'll be good. That's the truth. That's the truth. I'm gonna tell you that scares me a little bit. It scares I mean, of me just course a little it does, bit. because that comes with scrutiny and comments and the good and the bad. Scrutiny. The, the, the world is is different. I'm not going to say the world is mean. There are mean people out there. Oh, and we've but, had our experience with those. Too. Oh, I, I've, girl, I've seen it. Mm-hmm. You know, people always be looking for looking for a place. But it's, again, it's different on a smaller scale than a larger scale. And, you know, we want to hire a team at that point to just be filtering things out I because mean, there's maybe, just so much. Maybe we will have a team by then. Just maybe. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak into existence. I'm definitely not gonna be having the same job in five uh, year five, so my time will be open. Well, there you go. We're gonna have to because I'm tired of editing videos. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> we got our team to do that, guys. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry. Sure do. That's how I'm talking every episode of year five. Oh, yeah, okay. so Please. welcome back to another episode of Mindset Talks podcast. Our team is going to edit this when we're done. Thank you. I'm going to need you all to write in and let Amanda know that that cannot happen. Please. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Fine, whatever. You know, y'all know I like to have fun. We know who the more fun one is right now on the show. Whatever. Your girl here. <laughs> Anyways, people love my all right, mother hen. Anyways, <laughs> coming from the mother. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, on that note, guys, I think that we need to wrap up this lovely anniversary episode for y'all. Um, and past my bedtime. Make sure sh- clearly. So make sure you guys continue to watch and follow us on all of our social media platforms and podcasting platforms because your girls have a lot of exciting things in store and we are just all over the map. So keep tuning in. Definitely. Yes, Mindset Fam. Just want to tell you guys that we love you. We always appreciate you here riding with your girls from day one to year two. Like this is so crazy. (laughs) Um, I hope you guys look as forward as we do to what is to come in the future because there are endless opportunities. Yes, there are. And we are seeing it every day. Every day. So thanks again, y'all. We love y'all. And until next time. Bye, guys.